with tonight a dangerous game that can leave more than just a mark on your child's skin tonight. A warning about what is called the eraser challenge. It's a troubling trend that's popping up now in schools all across the country and now here. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Kitty Houston. Students use an eraser on their skin to point of blistering sometimes or bleeding like you see here behind us. Today it made its way to a Bellbrook lunchroom. Brooke Moore is asking questions about why this is so dangerous. Mark, Katie, this is a copy of the email that parents received today. It says that some fifth graders here at Bell Creek Intermediate are playing this game. I talked to a doctor tonight who says this isn't something new. However, it could be more dangerous than you think. It sounds painful. Erasing your skin so hard it leaves a mark or worse, it starts to bleed. But doctors say the eraser challenge isn't a new game. In some cases, when you look back, some of them were so bad, they ended up with amputations of the extremity. Even in lesser cases, Dr. David Rohr says it can leave kids with permanent scars and increase their chances of getting a staph infection, or worse, MRSA. Yes, I'm kind of a germaphobe anyway, so <laughs> that does freak me out. <laughs> Melissa New's son is a fourth grader at Bell Creek Intermediate. She says she's never heard of the eraser challenge until she received the email the principal sent to parents today. I think it definitely concerns you as a parent because you don't want to feel like you, your child would ever do something like that. Sometimes what these kids don't realize is that these scars are lifetime. They won't go away depending on how bad they rubbed and how deep uh, the wound they, they created. New is confident her son isn't participating, but she plans to talk to him about it anyway. Dr. Rohr says communication is crucial, especially at an age when peer pressure can be difficult to handle. Again, that's why a lot of kids do it. That's why they do these games. That's why they drink. That's why they smoke. You just have to have enough fortitude in discussions and open you know, discussions with your children to, to let them know that it's okay to say no. This email also states that today during lunch period, the school nurse talked to all of the fifth grade class to let them know about the dangers of this game. I tried to talk to the principal of the school today. I was there in his office. He said he did not want to go on camera. Reporting live in Bellbrook, I'm Brooke Moore. Two News working for you.